In today's video, we'll be doing a full comparison between Jarvis AI and Writer AI. And these are both AI copywriting softwares that allow you to write short and long form copy. And if you've watched any videos on this channel, you'll know that we use Jarvis AI within our business and I speak very highly of this AI copywriter. But I do understand that the price point can be a little bit high uh, for some people. So in today's video, we'll be putting Jarvis head to head against Writer AI and we'll be looking at a couple of different things to compare. First, we'll be looking at the quality of output that you get from Jarvis AI versus Writer AI. We'll also be looking at the use cases and the templates that's available in both software. And we'll also be looking at the ease of use and how beginner friendly both of these softwares are. And lastly, we'll be taking a look at the company and the team around Jarvis AI and Writer AI. So Writer AI, again, is an AI copywriter that promises to allow you to write short and long form copy. And they also make the promise to do this at a much lower cost compared to Jarvis. Now, before we get into the pricing, I think the most important aspect of any AI copywriters is the quality of the output that you're getting. It doesn't matter how much you're paying per month. If you're not getting high quality output, then it's just a waste of your money. Let's take a look at first the quality of output that we get from Writer AI. So as you can see, we don't have too much of an overwhelming UI. There's not a bunch of different functionality and features um, that can be a little bit overwhelming for a beginner. When you're deciding between use cases and different short and long form copy, the cool thing about Writer AI is that you do it all within one window and within one template. And this is much different from Jarvis AI. So if you wanted to get copy for a specific scenario, then you would go into that uh, different template and then you would complete any input that's needed and then generate the AI content. So let's start by doing some comparisons between short form copy uh, between Writer AI and Jarvis AI. So to really compare apples to apples, let's go ahead and use the AIDA framework that's both available in Writer and Jarvis AI. So once we've created the input, let's go ahead and generate the output from the AIs. And as you can see, this is the output that we get from Writer AI. Um, it says, attention, create your own endlessly evolving portfolio of work and turn it into a profitable online business. Get more material for your blog, website, or social media every time you create a new project. <clears throat> then it talks about creating a digital product and uploading it to the site, uh, making money through selling products on the platforms. I would say is decent. We can probably work with the first two sentences, but this third and fourth sort of went off the tracks there. Uh, but if we head over to Jarvis, we can see that for this input, we actually get some pretty good output. So uh, the first generated output is, uh, do you have an idea for a profitable online business? You can turn your idea into a profitable business, da da da. Desire, it's not just about making money, it's about doing what you love and doing what makes you happy. So that's really good. Um, as you can see, we get some more content um, from Jarvis AI and it seemed to pick up about what we're talking about a little bit easier than Writer. But again, that's just one output. Let's try it again for another short form copy and see what sort of outputs we get. So let's go ahead and try the Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn ads use case in Writer AI. And then we'll do the same thing and head back over to Jarvis and we'll uh, do the Facebook ads template. So once I'm happy with my input, I'm just going to enter those in into both copywriters and let's see what sort of content we get. Okay, so let's start with Writer. Uh, as you can see, the best way to start your day, drink coffee in style with no spill coffee mug made from durable. Da da da, it's simple. It's simple yet perfectly designed that will make drinking your morning brew a breeze. Okay, that's pretty good. Do you ever spill coffee in your car desk when you're drinking it with this no spill mug? You'll never have to worry about that again. Okay, again, pretty good as well. Not a morning person, don't worry. The no spill coffee mug will save the day. Um, some pretty good outputs uh, from Writer. If we head back over to Jarvis, um, let's see the output that we're getting as well. So as we can see, if we take a look at the content from Writer AI and we read over the content that we got from Jarvis, um, from both AI copywriters, we got some pretty decent um, output and pretty good copy that we can use for a Facebook ad or Google ad or any sort of uh, product description that we're using. So all in all, I would say that that's pretty equal uh, when we look at Jarvis AI and Writer in terms of using the product description for Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn ads. Now, while using these other templates are helpful, I find that the most value 
And the reason why many people use an AI copywriter is to write long form blog posts or any sort of long form content. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can create long form content in Writer and Jarvis AI. And we'll also compare the quality of output that we get for long form content. So when you're creating long form content using Writer AI, you just head over to choose use case and you use the blog idea and outline. And what you wanna do is then describe the content in which you're creating. So the primary keyword or the topic will be the best five cryptocurrencies to invest in in 2022. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click write for me. And when you're creating long form content on Jarvis AI, we could use the blog post outline and get sort of an outline for our long form blog post. But the best way um, to go ahead and get the best output from Jarvis is to use the long form assistant and use the long form blog post workflow. And from here, we'll start by describing the content. So it's the best five cryptocurrencies to invest in in 2022. And we're going to click continue. And if we generate AI content, it'll give us a title right here. So the top five cryptocurrencies. Um, so let's go ahead and choose whichever title we like the best. And right from the blog post workflow, we can go ahead and generate an intro paragraph. Now, unfortunately on the writer AI software, you don't really have the access to a blog post workflow like we do in Jarvis. So I did have to do a couple variations um, because the first one was very plain and didn't really give us much information about cryptocurrency or any sort of an outline. The second one, again, we got a little bit better output, but the third one was pretty good, which talks about what cryptocurrency is, why do you need to invest in it, and the top five cryptocurrencies for investing, and then the best Bitcoin alternatives and a conclusion. So in the third output, we have more of an outline that we can work with. Now heading back over to Jarvis, we first wanna go ahead and choose the intro paragraph. So once you go through these um, outputs, you can choose whichever paragraph you like the best. And once you do so, um, you will then be taking to the long form assistant and on the long form assistant, this is where you'll be able to create your blog post on Jarvis AI. So let's go ahead and head back over to the blog post outline now and see what sort of content do we get from Jarvis. So once we use the blog post outline, our first two outputs are just a different list of cryptocurrencies that we can invest in. Um, but the fourth output is sort of similar to what we got on Writer. So we actually get some different subtopics that we can write about. So what are cryptocurrencies? How do they work? The top five best, how to get started, tips for getting most out of your investment, and a couple other important subtopics. So I would say from both of these AI copywriters, we got some pretty good outputs and a pretty good blog um, outline using Writer and Jarvis AI. So now let's get into the long form content quality that we can expect when using both of these AI copywriters. So first we're gonna go ahead and start with Writer. So the introduction talks about what is cryptocurrency and why you should invest in them. And if you wanna go ahead and run outputs uh, from Writer, you copy the keywords, including the title, and then you click paragraph. And what this will do, this will give us some outputs and include the keywords and the title uh, that you selected. So as we can see, cryptocurrencies are digital currencies, Da, 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 digital asset, talks a little bit about Bitcoin. So this is a pretty good um, intro paragraph from Writer. So let's let's do this. Let's copy the introduction um, from Writer. And what we're gonna do is we're going to paste it into Jarvis. We're going to remove this one because I wanna really compare apples to apples. And so when using Jarvis AI, you always want to update the content brief and the title. So what is cryptocurrency and why you should invest in them. So once we've done that, I'm going to then click compose and let's sit back and see what sort of content Jarvis gives us. And once there's a comma there, I usually just click compose again and let Jarvis continue um, writing its content. So that was a lot of content. So let's actually look through this very quickly and see if it was quality content. And what's kind of interesting, if we take a look 
um, at the example that was given in Jarvis and in Ryder as well, they talk about uh, cryptocurrency going from $997 to 16000 uh, in 27 so we see here again bitcoin jumping from 1000 to over uh, 16,000 for coins so as we can see um, it's kind of funny that the ai sort of pull similar content but i do think that we get a lot more content um, in jarvis ai uh, compared to rider ai but you also have the option in rider if you want more content just copy the last paragraph and then again click paragraph and as you can see, it will give you some more content. So let's go ahead and try a second uh, output. So we'll use the why do you need to invest in cryptocurrencies um, subtopic. So again, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to highlight the title and the keywords. We're going to click paragraph. And here we go. We'll do the same thing. I'm going to copy the subtopic right here. Head back over to Jarvis AI. Make it a H2, copy, paste. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of an input there. And then I'm gonna let the AI do its thing. Hmm. I don't know why it's giving us um, so much space, but sometimes that does happen. So you just need to watch out and then just reformat that. But let's take a look at the output that we got. First, let's take a look at Jarvis. So you should invest in cryptocurrencies, da da da, because it's the future of money, opportunities of high returns, diversify your portfolio. Okay, pretty good. Financial freedom, store value, buy products. So I do think Jarvis had a little bit of better input um, on this subtopic, but again, um, pretty good inputs from both AI copywriters. And I guess if you wanted some more content, you can just highlight the title and keywords again and click paragraph, and it should give you some more content as well. Now there's a couple little features that I think it's worthwhile exploring um, quickly that's included in writer and on Jarvis AI so if you wanted to rephrase or improve any sort of sentence you can do so by just highlighting that sentence and clicking improve or rephrase now if we click rephrase then it will um, take that sentence and rephrase it into something that may be better formatted or better written now if you head back over to Jarvis um, the rephrase and the fix grammar button is right here but the thing that I like better with Jarvis is that you're able to first see the output and then decide if you want to make the change um, on writer if we were to do rephrase it just changes the content without you giving it the option to do so and I also think with Jarvis you're able to do a lot more content for instance I can do this whole paragraph if I wanted to um, and you're kind of limited when doing this on writer for instance if i do a paragraph like this i'm unable to do so because i can only do between 30 and 300 characters we also have a built-in plagiarism checker and you have grammarly that's included in jarvis ai and also on jarvis ai you have access to an integration with surfer seo so that means you can start creating your content and you could simultaneously optimize your content at the same time so that's a really cool integration, especially if you have a Surfer SEO account, um, because you can start optimizing your content right in your AI copywriter. So overall, this is how I score Jarvis AI compared to Writer AI. In terms of the quality of the output, I would have to give it to Jarvis. Um, I really feel like you can get some deep, high quality, actionable content uh, from Jarvis compared to just sort of um, on the surface level that I found while using Writer. Now, this could be because I've only really used Jarvis and I've just recently started to use Writer. But nonetheless, I was still very impressed by the output that I was getting when using Writer AI. And in terms of use cases, just taking into account the amount of templates that you have in Jarvis AI and the ability to do rewriting, the ability to do rephrasing, have a built-in plagiarism checker, Grammarly, and the integration with Surfer SEO. I would also have to give um, use cases, templates, and features to Jarvis AI. But in terms of ease of use, I would definitely give it to Writer AI. They have the best user interface that I've used, 
and it's super simple to get started, very beginner friendly, and anyone can go ahead and start using this, even if you've had no experience using AI copywriters. Now pricing. Jarvis AI and Writer AI have two very different pricing. Jarvis AI is more of a high quality AI copywriter, and this is very much so reflected in its pricing. So in order to write short and long form copy, similar to what I did in this video, you would need the boss mode plan. And that starts at $59 per month. And for that $59, you have access to 50,000 words. But if you wanted to do just short form copy and you didn't want to use the long form assistant, then you can do the starter plan, which starts at $29 per month for 20,000 words. And Writer AI starts at $9 per month. And for that $9, you'll be able to generate 50,000 characters. So as we see um, on the boss mode plan, we can do 50,000, but that's $59 per month. Um, on Writer, that same amount of words is just $9 per month. So of course you see a huge difference within the pricing um, when we compare these two AI copywriters. And for $29 per month, you can subscribe to the unlimited plan, which will give you um, unlimited characters. So that means you'll be able to generate as many characters as you like. And you'll also have a couple other features for $29 per month. Unfortunately, Jarvis AI just got rid of their unlimited plan. So right now it's only a pay per usage um, pricing plan. So as you can see, there's a huge difference between the pricing for a writer and the pricing for uh, Jarvis AI and you can even get a lifetime deal uh, for Writer AI on AppSumo for $40 uh, one-time payment. So that's a pretty good deal. We'll leave a link below this video in which you can go ahead and get the lifetime deal for Writer AI because honestly that's a steal for $39. And so of course I will have to give the pricing to Writer. It's just very very affordable when you compare it to Jarvis AI. And in terms of the company and the team behind Jarvis AI, um, they've done a really good job at marketing and at serving their clients. So I would have to give that to Jarvis AI, but still both of these AI copywriters are really mind blowing and really allow you to create long form or short form copy much quicker than before. If you're on a limited budget and you're looking for a high quality AI copywriter, then I highly recommend trying out Writer. If you have a bigger team and you're doing a lot of copy and you have a larger budget, then I would recommend going ahead with Jarvis AI. We'll leave a link below this video for both Jarvis and Writer AI. So go ahead, take a look at both of them, use them and see whichever one you like the best. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are able to find the AI copywriting tool that's right for you. If you like this video, then give us a big thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials. Until the next video, stay well.